I wishing Vikram a very very happy birthday. Lots of love right from Ojas and the very own Asma from I. So whom will you compare in Bollywood with Vikram? Shah Rukh Khan. But I remember in Robot when we work every morning he will come and say hi good morning are you okay have you had your breakfast which no Bollywood star even gives a damn to ask you. People want to learn they should learn from Rajinikanth because that's why Rajinikanth is so successful and so loved as God all over the world. I'm challenged out of every 100 families, 10 families child is gay but they're all in the closet, they don't have the guts to speak up what they are and I am gay, yes, but I'm not a transgender darling. I like to dress up like a girl so I'm... I don't, I challenge no makeup out of the hairstyle, can even come close to that which everybody knows that so people are jealous but it's good, you know, competition makes you do even better, you know because I think when you're high people want to pull you down but that pushes you to even do the best. Hi, this is celebrity makeup artist and hairstylist Ojas Rajani, all the way from Bollywood, and you're watching me on IndiaGlitz.com. So, about Rajni Gant, so you worked in Indran, right? So, I think one true respect I have Mr. Rajni Gant, I think he's truly a darling to work with. And though I've never done his makeup, but I remember in Robot, when we work, every morning he will come and say, Hi, good morning, are you okay? Have you had your breakfast? Which no Bollywood star even gives a damn to ask you. That's I'm so put off with Bollywood, but I think that's the best thing. If people want to learn, they should learn from Rajinikanth because that's why Rajinikanth is so successful and so loved as God all over the world. And I think he was the only person in the whole of Roba I respect because I think when we finished the schedule of the first song in South America at Dubai Airport, he paid everybody from his own pocket $500 as a goodness gesture, you know, okay. which is fantastic, which nobody does in Bollywood at all, trust me. So I think, not because of the money, but I think he's a thorough gentleman, he's so loving, he's got such a beautiful aura around him, such a positive, nice person, which I think is making him so loved and appreciated all over the world. And uh, in I movie, actually, your character, there was a controversy about that. So did you regret any day? No, I don't regret anything. I think it was very good. And I don't think Shankar meant to demean any kind of a transgender community, any community. I think we all love you know Shankar for what he did. I think if some people have you know misunderstood the gesture we're sorry for that but I don't think it was any you know harm to anybody in any way and I, I myself you know looking like this so how could I harm our community it's not fair you know what I'm saying. So uh, it was just cinema I guess you see a cinema for three hours and you forget it like you know there's so many times Karan Johar has done Dostana which is on gaze have anybody gone and had the guts to fight with the Karan Johar no. So why poor thing why trouble Shankar on that you know. Okay, so in India still people see in a different way like uh, I guess India will be backward for the next 20 years. I challenge all the parents out there that even your son can be a homosexual or a gay. Are you going to murder your child? Because you never know whether your child is born a lesbian or a gay. It's just when they grow up they realize what their sexual priority is. So I don't think every parent out, I'm, I'm challenged out of every 100 families, 10 families child is gay but they're all in the closet, they don't have the guts to speak up what they are, at least we are what we are and we don't feel scared to open up for what we are. So I guess parents should be more welcoming and respecting towards this kind of a, you know, genre. It's really mean and unfair to, you know, criticize somebody. Look at yourself first, see how good you are than criticizing somebody else, you know. And are you going to murder your own child if you come to know whether your, you know, son or daughter is a lesbian or a gay? I don't think so, right? So it's very easy to comment on others. First look at yourself, then look at others, darling. Where's the artist, darling? Oh, here. This is Mr. Lingeson. Morning. Even uh, Gadan on the stylist. Uh, so how it happened acting in I movie so how comfortable you were like when he said you want to I think act. Shankar just kind of met me and that time he said this is what I said no but Shankar I don't think I can do I don't even know whether I have the dates he's saying we'll adjust your dates so he, luckily he adjusted to everything what I asked right from my, all my demands to adjusting my dates to everything and I think it worked out fantastic and he made me confident because I don't know the language at all but he made it very easy for me paragraph wise and he should just say something and he's saying just be yourself he's saying you don't need to act I want you the way you are and that's what helped me a lot Okay. And it was a fabulous experience for a lifetime, I think. And I'm truly grateful to Shankar for that. If you remember the movie Shankar made called Hindustani with Manisha Koirala, uh, yes, Urmila yes. Matunkar and Kamal Hassan. There's a very popular song, Latka Dikha Di Amne, that tarot, yes. like a fashion show yeah. thing. So Shankar has always been very fond of stylish people, stylish cinema. Okay. And he always loved me for what I was. So he had asked me even to do songs for Sada because I didn't know who Sada was. Okay. And that time Vikram Fadu said Bollywood designer and he was designing the clothes for Sada. So we went to Amsterdam to shoot the song where fortunately Vikram was there. Okay. Then we did this uh, song with Shreya Saran again for, you know, what is that, Shivaji movie. Then I did the whole of Ender and Robot. 
and then I got I because you know when I was uh, meeting Shankar for I, he just called me for a meeting to do Amy Jackson's hair and makeup. And he completely took me by surprise saying that you have to act, you know. I said, but I can't give so many dates and I will charge you a bomb. He said, you can charge what you want, okay. but do everything. So right from my makeup hair to my costume styling, my shoes, my clothes, my exercise, everything is designed by me. And he paid me fantastic. He got me four assistants to help me. So one assistant would help me for my hair and makeup and two assistants would help me for Amy's hair and makeup. So which was very well taken care of. Okay. So that was nice because normally South Indian cinema is very restricted to budget. But Shankar is always very larger than life in his m movies. So it worked out fantastic. Okay. I think he's a perfectionist. I think to work with him means, I think even the people who assist him, it's a fantastic, it's a blessing to get to work under somebody like him because when you work with a person like Shankar, you can really reach the skies because his vision of perfection, every detailing is, he like a genius, I think. Okay, so in iMovie, did you do any makeup for Vikram personally? No, only for Amy Jackson and for me throughout the movie. I've done the whole movie of I for Amy uh, and Jackson, all the song scenes, everything okay. with my team and me. Okay, so you have seen Vikram very closely. So he's very hard worker and dedicated person. So whom will you compare in Bollywood with Vikram? Shah Rukh Khan. Uh, but Shah Rukh Khan is a genius on his own. I mean, you cannot compare Shah Rukh Khan and a Vikram. Shah Rukh Khan is on a different plan. But yes, I guess every actor is very hard working. You cannot just compare anybody. It will be very unfair. But I guess nowadays generation, everybody is striving to do better and better and better, which is fantastic. <laughs> So, are you helping your fellow minority people in any way? Yes, I think I've set a very good example that you have to work hard. You can't, you know, do anything else but work hard. And there is success always there when you're determined to work hard, I guess. You know, that's the most important. And I like to say I'm not a transgender. I am gay, yes, but I'm not a transgender, darling. I like to dress up like a girl. So, I'm not from the, you know, either of the hijra community or the transgender community. I am just gay and I love to dress up the way I am. But we all do our own work and go home. We don't meddle into anybody's affairs and we respect the same with the others, you know. So for so many years you have been with Aishwarya Rai. So tell us the rapport between you both. How is the wavelength? I think she's extremely professional and so am I. So I think that really worked very well. That's why I did back to back, you know, four movies, Guzari, Shakran, Deepay, Robot, Ravan, a bit of it. But after that I could not help Ravan because Mani Ratnam's schedule was too erratic and my dates were going for a toss. Okay. But I think overall it was a very good experience with her because I think her face is so pretty that you want to do the best on her. And she carries every look very well, whether it's Indian look or international look or Western look, or even like looking plain Jane, you know. So I guess that's a plus point working with her. And plus, like I said, I do hair, so that also used to love, she used to love about me. Now there are so many makeup artists random who come and work for makeup, you know, who do hair. But I think the way I style hair, I have a predominant style. If you see on my Instagram also, just Rajani, I, people can identify my work because I have a, you know, typical style of doing eyes. I have that eye makeup is my USP and so is my big sexy hair, which I don't, I challenge no makeup artist hairstyle can even come close to that, which everybody knows that that's why people are jealous, but... It's good, you know, competition makes you do even better, you know, because I think when you're high, people want to pull you down, but that pushes you to even do the best. Yes. And uh, see, as you said, like, uh, you have been with Aishwarya Rai and so many celebrities and all. Do you think uh, there might be a plus and minus with that? So, being for so long time, uh, do you have any personal problems or... Not really, because I guess, see, there are two kinds of makeup. Art. One is the English-speaking, you know, professional makeup, art, because we come from an advertising background. So obviously their respect towards us is much better because we know our job to the T, we do our job 100%. Whereas there are these other Marathi or those vernacular makeup artists whose makeup is very okay, okay and they keep on doing madam, madam and they'll hold madam's bag and lose it. Obviously they get shouted at because they don't know their job 100%. But just that they always please the madam, they'll get a glass of water for them and do this and we don't do all that drama. We are thorough professional, we do our job to the T and also I demand respect. I think I'm in the business for 24 years and I'm one of the only makeup artists who did hair and makeup from that time. And I always used to demand the same hotel as where the actress stays or the business class ticket because I said, if the heroine can fly business, so can I because she's not some, you know, Hurpari and I'm any less because I'm also working equally hard and even I need my room service and my fasting because I don't want to do so. I used to always work on my own terms and conditions until today I've maintained that and I think that's why people respect you. Because what happens, you let people walk all over your head, they will just discriminate you and treat you like a piece of trash. So I guess you have to set a standard somewhere. And that's what I always did and always maintained. So basically that helps it on the long run. And yes, we do our job well. I don't think any actor or actress should have a problem. And see, little bit mood swings all of us go through. So today, if you are not step well, you might be a little irritated. But then you should know to draw a line and leave them alone for that time. And I don't meddle in their personal affairs. I keep up to my job. I'm not interested in what is happening in their personal life. Then I don't gossip about them. So they love me for what I am. And that's what is most important. You know, that's why the word professional is very important, which very few people don't understand that. 
during Sri Devi's time, that Rupki Ran, that you know, that glamour, where people used to go to the theatre. I personally early used to go to theatre to watch songs and actresses make up, but now I don't go to the theatre. Now everybody is so boring. Everybody is like a clone of everybody. Every actor is trying to look like the same. If you say Anushka or Kirti Sanon, or if you say Ali, everybody looking. Sometimes you look towards the oh, you can't see heroine, which heroine, because you can't identify because they all are doing the same hairstyle, same makeup, same styling, same boring wardrobes. I think it's like it's the hair makeup of Bollywood, which used to be. Like the charm, you know, people actually go and see that. It's all lost now. Where is that? Yes. There is not one thing. Even Karan Johar, I think, has lost the plot now because he's not, you know, reinvented himself by movies which he used to do. I think he was a superb genius by doing Kabi Kushi Kabi Kama, those family drama, that little glamour of songs. That I think when he's ventured into that, you know, mainstream, boring Bollywood cinema, which is high on, you know, emotions and all. But I think people like all of us are working people. So I guess when we go out for an outing, we want to watch a movie which has fun, not full of emotions and drama and all that crying, all that scenes. Because I think nobody has time for all that nowadays. Okay. And if I think they don't pull up their socks slowly, you know, theatres will not be running. So Ojas is actually basically a commerce student. So how it came into makeup and has to I'm a chartered account by profession. Okay. But from childhood, I've been always very fascinated by Bollywood, cinema, hair, makeup. I used to watch Mumtaz, you know, the rest of okay. with Mumtaz, Helen. So I think I was very truly fascinated and I used to practice all those things that my mum and my sister. And that time it was just like a part of child's play. But when I actually graduated my chart accountancy, I was expected to work in a firm. And I worked there for three months and I was so bored that I came out to my dad, I can't do this. So my father said, okay, fine, then you decide in one week's time what you want. I said, I want to get out of here. So 20 years back, my father sent me to America to Miami School of Design because my mom's sister lives there. Okay. And that's where I worked there for seven years and trained over there. And then I came back to Bombay and I got uh, in my lap Urmila because she just was doing Rangila, Daur, Maz, Janam, Samjakar, all the best movies. Okay. And I got an offer to do Channel V styling. Then I did so many with Ishwarya. So I think one thing led after the other. Okay. And now I do a lot of bridal makeup as well because you know bridal makeup is at its peak. You know everybody wants to look good nowadays. So exactly. whether you're a A class, B class, C class, middle class, upper class, everybody has a budget to spend for hair and makeup. And now suddenly, if you've realized, there's a lot of awareness of hair and makeup. Even salons want to update their knowledge with the Lakme salon, natural salon, anybody. Like everybody wants to up their marks. So that's why there are so many events happening. If you've seen, there are expos and you know salon international events events happening and you know gatherings of makeup artists, gatherings of the fraternity basically so which is working in a very good way because I guess you me everybody as an individual wants to look good and there's a lot of pressure on looking good on the newer generation of seed because of social media Instagram Twitter so much of you know things happening on the net that everybody's so impeccably dressed and today to even get a job I always continue to say in my uh, all my interviews, even if you go for a waitress's job, they check you out from head to toe to make sure your nails are fine, your eyebrows are fine, your skin is good, your figure is good, you don't have a big stomach coming out or you speak properly, but your certificates they don't even check. Nowadays, gone are the days where they check your certificates. What they see is what you get. You know, we all say don't judge the book by its cover, but I'm sorry, everybody judges the book by its cover. Even when you go to find a bridegroom or a bride for yourself, you first want to see the appearance, then you want to see the other qualities. Correct. So, we live in a world which is a make-believe world where you, you know, fascination of beauty is you know at its uttermost whether you're dark slim trim whatever but the pressure on looking good is too high so good for people like us you know we get the most to do yes okay so as a hair stylist right now is there any scope for earning i think it's fantastic i think touch wood thanks to bollywood advertising industry there are so many beauticians all out there who are getting work like i said nowadays when wedding makeup has become so trendy so I guess it's fantastic that all of us are getting bread and butter. So we should be thankful to God and thankful to the, you know, film industry so much that we all are getting a livelihood with respect and something which we love to do. So we're truly, truly grateful for that. So are you doing any training and workshop overall? I have the world? my own hair and makeup academy in Mumbai. Okay. Plus I keep on traveling the world to do events. And I've done events in uh, Atlanta, in the US. I've done in Miami. I've done in New Jersey, in London. I've done in Chennai, Coimbatore. Last year I've done again. I'm going to Coimbatore tomorrow. Then I've in Ludhiana. I've done in Ahmedabad, Baroda, Kuala Lumpur. I have a lot of South Indian community which I love. And I'm thankful to all you fans of you know Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Salam to you because I think I have done more than five makeup seminars in one year in KL Beat, in Penang, in Subang area, in Kuala Lumpur, in the city Kuala Lumpur, in um, what is the other one? Uh, there's one more place I'm forgetting in Malaysia, it's Langkawi. And again, I'm having one in June uh, end in, you know, Malaysia. Then again, I'm doing one in July. Then again, in September, doing an event in Malaysia, Singapore. So I guess I'm totally, you know, grateful for all the Southern fans. I think it's because of I and Robot, I got so much of love and appreciation from everybody. So I totally love each and every individual and I'm totally grateful and thankful for that.
So, uh, uh, like you have worked with I, right? So, if any other movie, any other character comes like that, are you ready to work no, with? No, I think I've had my share of acting. I wanted to be glamorous, I wanted to feel good. It was a feel good situation, thanks to Shankar. But I think I'm very happy with what I did. But I only did it because I got a chance to do even Amy's hair and makeup. Okay. That's why I was there with it. And I think I'm very happy behind the scenes doing hair and makeup, making people beautiful and taking their blessings. And I keep to think doing that. People who are trying, you know, for makeup and hair stylists, what do you want to tell for them, for the common people? Always do your best and God will do the rest. There is no compromise in any kind of work. You have to work hard, be a strict professional, be a true artist and nothing can stop you. Because if I can work hard and be where I am, so can you.